Hi everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy Tactics. Still in Limberry Castle, I want to show you that I'm making one change before the next battle. Due to a lot of enemies starting to, at least right here, they're starting to use moves that you can't dodge. They have 100% hit chance. And you're going to see that throughout the, the later part of the game. Honestly, if you haven't noticed, uh, a lot of the, quote, boss, unquote, type fights, you're starting to see a lot of moves that don't miss. Because of that, I took off Ramza's Feather Mantle and gave him an Angel Ring instead. Now he'll have Re-Raise, plus he'll cancel Dead and Darkness. I'd like for him to have Re-Raise, just in case, since he swings so hard he could hit, get knocked down, stand up, and go swing at something again. Other than that, I've had I have everybody the same right now. I don't have a lot of spare equipment. But let's move on. So you may want to think about that. I love feather mantles, just the mantles in general. But at the end of the game a lot of enemies start using moves that don't miss especially if they're not generic enemies like your knight archer etc etc if they're not like a base class you're gonna start seeing a lot of moves that don't miss either throw or yeah things like that throw draw out that we saw the insta kill so you may want to think about switching out your mantle your mantles I still like them several characters are still gonna wear wear mantles but you might want to start looking at other other accessories or having some on you just in case the battles that you're fighting you're seeing a lot of that a lot of 100% chances to hit so I thought I'd point that out Let's bring, I honestly forget what this battle is. We'll bring Kitty anyway. Og. And TK. And say let's go. Underground Cemetery of Limberry Castle. Elm door. Give up. You don't have a chance. Let Alma go. Oh, you fool. She's not in this castle. My sister's in another castle? Dang it! The only ones here are the spirits of the dead. Your life shall also end here in this graveyard. Oh no. Let's settle this once and for all. What? The Marquis? A monster? Hey, Maleo. Defeat Zoller. Ready. Let's go. Hi, Maleo. In this battle, Maleo is a guest. She's going to help us out. Of course, we already know that she's a Divine Knight with her awesome Mighty Sword skill that breaks enemies' equipment. It'd been nice if she came just a little bit earlier. That way you could really take advantage of Mighty Sword. Remember, if they don't have equipment, her sword skills miss. But even without that, she is formidable. She has pretty good attack and magic. 
She has a move of 4 and a speed of 9, so she's no slouch. She is equipped with an Aegis Shield, which is nice. A circlet, a light robe, and some sprint shoes, which are giving her plus 1 speed. She also it comes with one of my favorite sword names in... Usually just a sword I like in general in most games. Save the Queen. Knight Sword given as a symbol of one's loyalty. As you can see, it has 18 attack power. This is a Knight Sword, as it says in the description. It has always protect. So she always has protect on. It's very, very nice. I really do like Save the Queen. It's too bad it's usually a step down from other swords. I understand Excalibur is the, you know, almighty sword and all that. But once, I'd like to see Save the Queen be the best sword. I, I just like it. It's something about me, you know, pr protecting someone. That's what Save the Queen's about. So, I, I really like the sword. Living Bone. Skeleton and Bone Snatch. These guys should be low on your priority list, to be brutally honest. Let Maledo handle them. You should folk and of course he of course raised a couple of knights. As you can see, they don't have any equipment. So don't worry about them either. This is your priority. Zalra, Angel of Death. Again, like the other two Zodiac stone users, no, no way to look at his stats. But that's your priority. Go, hit him, get rid of him. Can't quite reach him. That's a shame. Oh well. Hit. As you see, Zalra is fast, though. Nightmare. Sleep. Death sentence. And death sentence. I prefer death sentence to sleep, actually. Because I plan on nuking and killing you long before I fall down. <laughs> Crit! Awesome! Hit and hit. Hey, Milato. This is the power of the Zodiac Stone? Now you know what I said was true. Your brother, Azul, died because he found the truth and fought them oh my god does father form off know that well <laughs> so you're form off's daughter just like azul your body isn't suitable for us but your father's was then father was <laughs> yes he's no longer your father he's now a blood member of darkness but no matter for now you and Ramza will die here and Milato's gonna take exception to that and sit over there let's see here What is my movement? Five. One, two, three, four. Five, four. One, two, three,
Ah, uh, just wait there. Da 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 da. Oh, good! Right before you get to go! Oh no, the night! Okay, that hurt a lot more than I thought it was going to. <laughs> they still got pretty good strength, gotta remember that. That one, not as much. Are you gonna hit my ladle? You're gonna try to, anyway. Nope! That's the uh, Aegis shield talking. What you said was true. I'm sorry. It's okay, Maledo. Let's avenge Azul! Heck yeah. Let's. Ah, missed. Holy! Mimic Coley, but she's not in the right spot. I was trying to get her into the right spot to do that. That's not good. <laughs> Where are you flying off to, by the way? Lame. But now you're charging, which makes this much more interesting. 208, and that's it. Good game. Honestly, if you bring some heavy hitters, he doesn't have enough HP to take you. Ashmalam, sorry. I'm leaving the rest to you. So just hit him with the biggest things you got. I don't know what he was casting there, or maybe Cyclops again. It was going to do a lot of damage for sure. But you just need to hit him really hard. And as you can see, he'll go down. Hey, he would have gone down before he could have even casted that big damage spell if Ramza hit him. <laughs> so bring your heavy hitters along. And just go for him. There's no reason to go after the ads. Do that, he'll fall down in fairly short order. This battle is complete. Secrets hidden in this stone. I never dreamed. It may be divine, but I thought it was just a strange rock. I never thought collecting them would make a miracle. Neither you nor Azul was informed. Even Raygraf didn't know until he turned into Lukvi. So even the High Priest's plot's been used by Vormoth. What are they after? That, I don't know. If they want to, they could destroy an entire brigade. Just like at Rivanis. But they don't use that power outright. There must be a reason why. Maybe they can't use their power outright. Lukvi of Legend was an unbeatable, ferocious monster. That's right. They don't seem to be the immortal evils the legends say. Ah, oh, it's just because you're that awesome, Ramza. 
Legends do tend to over-exaggerate. Maybe Lufi was just another monster after all. I hope so. To be serious for a moment, they can't, maybe they can't tap into their true powers yet. That's what was hinted at between the conversation between Voromoth and Elmdor. I'm going to give you this Zodiac Stone. In return, let me go along. I want to know why my father... Besides... Besides? I want to know why he gave away the Capricorn Stone. Why it was given to Lord Dystarg? I need to know. To my brother? Why? At this point, you can get Miladel for yourself. She can join your party, which of course we will do. We're starting to get pretty full on party members. If you're just using special characters, you wouldn't ha have this problem. But I do, unfortunately. Let's see. I kind of wanted to keep all the... All the special characters. I really did. But... Sorry, Moloch. You've done a lot for me. Can you let me help you? And we're going to replace him with Miladle. Once you beat Limberry Castle, this connects. So you don't have to go all the way in, all the way back around, which is nice. So let's see, where do we go now? Oh yeah, Ramsa's brother has a, a zodiac stone. So off to Egros Castle we will go. But first, Air Knife. I honestly don't think the. Shops are going to change at this point. I think what you see in the shop is pretty much what's going to be there. Watch me be wrong now. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure if there is new stuff in the shop, it won't be much. You pretty much got the best things you can buy at the shop at this point. I'm going to buy a couple more angel rings. Just in case. And some more X potions. There we go. Let's see. We can hit up Dorter Trade City along the way. When you leave, or try to leave, I should say. Where did he escape to? You search over there! He was wounded trying to escape. He must still be near. <sighs> oh 
hold on. Are you okay? What an awful wound. Be strong. Olivia, your highness. If you didn't see her title, it was queen. I must tell you. Don't speak. Please, listen to me. My stepfather, Orlando, didn't murder Lord Goltana. Suspected of conspiracy, my stepfather escaped Bethella with Ramsa Bayou. Now, he's fighting to stop the evil priest high plot. I trusted Uncle not to start any rebellious movement. No good! The door won't open! Highness! Are you safe? Please, open this door! Then, who? Who killed Lord Goltana? It was... Your Highness, are you alright? Here he is! You there, leave this room. Oh, hi, Delita. Look at your fancy cape. Huh? I said leave this room. But, but, I'll not say it again. Y yes. Please, don't be rough on Olan. Such a foolish thing you did, Olan. You traitor. Oh, please. You know you wanted this too. Look around. See anyone who's really saddened? You should thank me for killing your father. Now nobody will be after him. Stop that nonsense! Why? Why did you do such a thing? I told you I'd make you into a real monarch. You liar! You're just trying to use me! You don't trust me? Well, Olivia? I'd like to trust you, but... I must talk to Olan. Go to your room. Please, be gentle with him. Okay, I promise. Ah, she's gonna stay behind and listen. I don't care. All I wanted was to clear my stepfather. Do it in one death blow. What are you talking about? I can't have you dead. What am I worth to you alive? You'll work under me. <laughs> Don't be a fool. If I ref I refuse, even if it means death, you cannot refuse. I'll bring down the Hokuten and build Olivia's kingdom. Of course I'll kill the high priest. I'm not his dog. Are you serious? What the hell? I'm sure you know I'm right. What I'm planning to do is completely justified. A former squire, now in control of knights and restoring order to the world. It's easy to understand. This is the hero people have been demanding. For that, you're going to take advantage of everything? 
Is that wrong? What's the matter? Want to kill me? I know the High Priest sent you as an assassin. And if I betray you, you'll kill me, right? Go on, stab me with that dagger. What's the matter? Go on. If you don't kill me, I'll kill you. Well, he's doing things by any means necessary. This way. Hmm? Mister, wait. Oh, got a chemist with them. Huh? Father. Come here. I'd like you to see something. This. Do you know what that is? Of course! This is moss fungus, a mushroom. Its poison isn't that deadly, though. No wonder. Huh. Mister? We'd best be going. Why are you so scared? Don't you know? Moss fungus only grows on corpses. And tombs with moss fungus corpses are major bad luck. They say moss fungus corpses mean the end with that family's generation. <laughs> okay, you may go now. <laughs> Thanks, mister. You must keep this a secret. I will. Father. Looks like Zawbox finally seeing what happened. Oh, he heard it, but he had to make sure. And now he knows. So, with that... It's off to talk to Dystark about all this that, that's that been happening. Because he obviously has quite a bit of a hand in it now. So, next time we're going to head to Egros Castle. And Roms is going to try to confront his brother. So, until then... Thank you for watching. I'm Cinder A9. Remember to shoot for the stars and take care, everyone.